In 2022, when I was just 16 years old, I sat the Edexcel Level 3 Algebra Award. This was an exam focused purely on algebra, with no silly statistics or real-world applications. I scored something like 96%, which I was absolutely chuffed with, but then I was quite annoyed to find out that there wasn't a Level 4 Algebra Award. Clearly, this is an absolute outrage. So today, I'm going to be giving you the seven levels of algebra, and you can tell me in the comments which one you think you are. Level 1. The good old days. This was when algebra was simple. The teacher would give you a problem and your job would be to find the missing number, which was usually called X. If you got it right, then you'd get a sticker to stick to your shirt to show everybody how smart you are, but if you got it wrong, then your teacher would take his shoe off, smack it against the desk, and then threaten to beat you with it. The good old thing. Level 2. Intermediate Algebra. Here you learn about graphs, quadratic equations, systems of equations, and polynomials. I remember in primary school, I was always curious about quadratic equations because it sounded really complicated and that only people with big brains could actually do it. But when I got older, I realized that most of the time, the teachers are just gonna make you plug numbers into this big long equation that they're gonna force you to memorize. So it's not really about being intelligent, it's more about just being able to memorize an equation. But if you're a based, complete the square pilled sigma male like me, then you'll never have to memorize the quadratic formula because you'll just complete the square every single time. And if you prefer to just plug numbers into formulas that you've memorized, then you should probably do a subject that requires less intelligence like physics. Level three, you can now find X. On this level, you'll know all you need to know about functions, higher degree polynomials, and you can probably do differentiation and integration too. You may have also learned the fun stuff like how to find the sum of all integers from one to 100 in a matter of seconds using the summation formulae. And of course, at this level, you can do level three algebra award. Most people people will have already stopped by now, which is why, generally speaking, most people don't understand truly how deep the algebra rabbit hole goes. Level four, linear algebra. Now you can not only solve systems of equations with two unknown variables, but you can also solve them with three, four, and even seven using matrices. Basically, you are completely useless unless if you have three separate bank accounts with three different fixed interest rates and you don't know anything apart from the total over the past three years of all three bank accounts and you want to find how much is in each individual bank account. You know, that common problem that we're all faced with on a day-to-day -day basis. While your skills are almost completely useless, at least a ring is still something that you give to a woman you want to marry and a field is something that a farmer uses to grow crops. Level four, Five. So basically, this is algebra, and you've learnt this bit. Now, a ring is an algebraic structure with two binary operations. You can't quite remember what a woman is or what it has to do with rings, and you can't remember the last time you've seen a real field because you don't really go outside much anymore. In terms of algebra, a field is a commutative ring in which every non-zero element has a multiplicative inverse. And if that sounded like just a bunch of random words to you, then good. The best way to learn abstract algebra is to try and make the abstract concepts more concrete. So for example, you can just think of a ring as a set of numbers where addition and multiplication works, but division doesn't always work. And a field is just a set of numbers where you can do addition, multiplication, and division. Level six, don't even try to make the concepts concrete because you won't be able to. Unless you have a firm grasp of everything before this level, this level won't make any sense to you. I'm gonna say three big words to you, and if you understand what these three words mean and what you do with them, then you are on this level. Adjoint functor homological algebra, cohomology. Level seven, mathematician. Congratulations, you are now a mathematician, which means your job is to do research in really niche and obscure fields that very few people actually know and understand, and to discover new levels of algebra and mathematics so that we can make more videos on them. And if you keep doing your research and developing mathematics further, maybe one day, given enough time, we can find your hairline. If you understand topics like higher category theory, derived functor methods, and movitic, motiv, motivitic, mo, motivic, homopathy, homo, hotop, homo, hippopotamus theory actually makes sense to you, then you're probably some kind of nerd or something, and that's okay. If you made it to this point in the video, then you might be expecting me to make fun of you for being a nerd, but you've probably had that enough by now. And so instead, I guess, just comment down below something about me being fat, just to confuse people who haven't made it to this point in the video. So yeah, piss off guys.